Okay. We're here today. I'm going to show you the things to look for on a John Deere 336, 346 baler. Common stuff that wears out, what to look for, and possibly have to replace. PTO's up in the front. Check to see if your bearing's tight. In the front, PTO shaft, universal joints. And also, take a look at your tongue. This one's got a slight crack in it. Make sure your pieces are tight. These ones are loose. You want to replace these bolts, repair any cracks. The front, come along the side. You can see right here, PTO shields come loose. Needs new lock collars. The protective shield for the cover. I'm going to check this. This has some play in it. It should be fairly snug. There's a bushing inside here that can be replaced. You also check this. You feel this movement here. This means there's a plate inside here, a drive plate, that rides on the splines of the gearbox shaft. And when they get wore, you can see there's some play there. More than likely this drive disc is getting wore down. And it's made that the drive disc wears out before the shaft does. But if you get going too far and it strips, you can actually ruin your drive shaft. Next thing is inspect your chains. They got side play, like this one's showing a little bit. You should replace them. The either gear up in the front. Chain should be snug, not overly tight. On the front here also is make sure you check all the teeth on this drive sprocket. Make sure there's none that are broke out and they're not wore to a point or they have a little slight bend into them. If they do, they need to be replaced. Also make sure your breather on your gearbox swivels like this one does so it doesn't build pressure and blow out your seals. Lift it up the cover. Remember, so as you took at your top drive sprocket, make sure the teeth look good on the top, bearings, plunger stop. We'll come over here to the side. You're going to take a look at your flywheel. This one's got a little bit of play. Most of the time, it isn't the bushing in the flywheel. You take this nut, take the cotter key out. And you can actually get in behind this flat plate, make sure there's no shims, but you can take a couple shims out, retighten this, we'll tighten your plunger back up. Inspect your belts, tightener. This here is a parts belt we're looking at. Another thing we need to look at is right here, this drive sprocket and chain. Also make sure they're in good shape. Your bearing, your tolerances from your pinion, to your pinion shaft idler gear. Check them. There's a bearing in behind here. You can check for play. You can look at your teeth. Make sure the teeth on the back side here aren't razor sharp. Um, the plunger stop springs, as you can see, there's two here. Make sure they're in good shape, not all rusty like pretty much these ones are. Check this. You're not a dry foot. There's a spring in behind here that commonly goes bad. Coming down here on the side. Take a look, make sure everything here looks is fairly snug and tight. As you can see, make sure your plunger stops working. Just a kind of a tough, rough glance over the top of the nodders. You want to make sure all these, see this right here underneath here? You see the rust buildup under the tucker finger? You should take those out, clean underneath them. Um, tucker finger shaft, I'm coming back on that side. There's a small, there's a shaft that comes through behind the gear. Let's see it right there my finger? Let's get them over here. That shaft right here that comes through, where my finger was pointing, that shaft in behind that gear is the tucker finger shaft. If that hole's wore out, you need to take this gear off and re-weld up that, that hole on that shaft so it holds the tucker finger shaft where it's supposed to. This gear here, as you can see, the bushing's gone in it. Check yours. Yours should not have this much side play. You can move a little, not a lot. Pretty much. Rest of this baler here. Make sure your brake shoes are good. On your brake, this is a 6 series baler. 7 series, the brakes will be on the side. 
This is a 6 series. This has two new style knotter halves in it. Tuck your fingers, make sure everything moves, functions freely. These are quite war. Not, not real bad, but they're war. Um, as you can see, the person that had this baler did not clean it out. Up here on top is your feed forks, your bushings. These ones are loose right now because, this is, like I said, this is getting parted out. But this, uh, these feed forks should be fairly tight and snug. Both bearings on the feed, feed fingers. Check front and back, make sure they're tight. Another thing you want to inspect is on these feed forks when they go around. Make sure you don't see any steel here flexing on both sides. If you do, this crank here is bent. That's bad. And if you see any steel flexing when this is running, or even this side, these uh, this uh, the crank for the feed forks is bent. On the other side. Inside here is a bearing on this pulley. Check all your pulleys all the way through. There's two more in the front. Your adjustment crank, make sure that's well lubed. Another thing is too, is make sure all these pickup teeth are not rubbing on the bands, on the sides or rubbing on the bottom of the band. If you do, you need to either re-bend this or buy new pickup bands. But as you can see, this tooth here is slightly rubbing. You need to get this all, bend these or get them to where to get the teeth moved to where they're not rubbing on the sides of the bands. Inside here you can see this auger here. You see the belt here and the tightener. You want to make sure that belt's good and snug. There's also an uh, idler wheel in here. The bearings commonly go bad on them. You know, requires taking the shield off on the outside. Inspect your belt. Um, the bearings on the outside of the pickup head. This one here is actually getting bad, but this is a parts machine. But you can see the rollers here. Need to replace that. This this bearing here can be a job, and so can the other one on the other side. All right, now we're going to use this baler, which uses the same plunger as the 346. 